You can use the Gemini's Canvas mod to create a document and then turn that document into this beautiful looking infographic in just a few minutes. So let me show you how you can do it. First, of course, let's go to gemini.google.com and here I'm going to be using the Gemini 2.5 Pro but feel free to use any mode that is available on your account. So right now for this demonstration, I'll try to create a document about let's say the benefits of electric bicycle for uh, you know going to work. Let's create a document. Generate a document about the benefits of cycling an e-bike to work. So that's the topic that I'm going to create. So after that, click Canvas and then let's send the prompt to Gemini and let this AI tool to create a document in the Canvas mode. So this is basically a feature similar to Cloud Artifact and Perplexity Labs and basically you can create a document and by the way it is also possible to uh, convert the document into Google Docs or PDF so you can edit it later. But in this case I'll try to turn this document into an infographic. So in case you didn't know you can click this share button. Okay sorry about that my mouse is dying. All right, so you can click this create button and then click infographic. And by the way, I forgot to mention that you can actually ask Gemini to refine the document. You can ask it to modify the wording, change a few texts, a few paragraphs, etc. So that's something that you can do. But in this case, I'm not going to do too much. I'm going to just go to create and then click infographic. And here, basically, Gemini will create the web version of the infographic. I know it's not actually a picture it is actually a web that resembles an infographic so it is not uh, in the format of jpeg or png so it is not exactly a picture but later i'm going to show you how you can convert that web page into a jpeg or png picture which is the formats that are mostly popular for infographics content it is after all in the name infographic so this process will take quite a while depending on the length of the document and also the complexity of the design and i'll just skip, skip forward and show you the result all right so this document or this infographic has been created based on the previous document and yeah this is the result maybe not the best looking document and i can tell that there are some problems and glitch within this document but overall th this is pretty much presentable and by the way if you want to go back and see the document again you can actually scroll up and then click the document version of the infographic but in this case let's focus on the infographic i'm going to click this again and now we have to convert this into a picture so what you need to do is that you have to click the code menu and then click anywhere right here press ctrl a or command a on the keyboard and then right click anywhere and click copy so we want to convert this web page into a picture you have to navigate to this page called beautify.org slash viewer and the link will be available in the video description now right click here and then click paste and after that you can click this button and basically this is the website and we have to take a screenshot a long screenshot in fact of this page so technically you can use some various chrome extensions that lets you take a screenshot of the full page but from my testing it doesn't seem to be working reliably and uh, that's why i do recommend to use a tool called pick pick this is available for free you can download and install it on your computer so basically after that i do recommend to make this browser window to be a bit smaller or a bit slimmer so I'm going to make it about this size because this is the typical size of an infographic. It is usually uh, long and slender. It's not very wide. And I think this is the most appropriate size or appropriate width for infographic content. Okay, now I'm going to open pick, pick my computer. And basically you have to click the scroll, scrolling window menu and you have to select this section or this page. Now I cannot click this because I'm recording this video so uh, this software doesn't allow me to take a screenshot while recording a video but basically you have to select this area the browser area to take a screenshot and just let the ai or sorry let the tool to take a screenshot of this infographic so i guess i'm going to just skip forward and show you the result okay so this is the infographic that i just created using Gemini actually I just captured the screenshot using the pic pic tool but of course this was created by the Gemini AI 
So that's essentially how you can create or how you can turn a document that was created in the canvas mode in Gemini and then later you can turn that into a beautiful infographic within just a few minutes. So if you find this video to be useful, then feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.